radio works, <laughs> if you can hear it. Um, and, uh, you know, as you know, this, the Caribbean has the dual antennas. These are manual. The, the uh, automatic are not um, operating. But, uh, um, Carrie, do you want to uh, start us? Uh, we're in park now. Sure. So it's the Ultramatic uh, transmission with, with the push button. Very cool. Okay. Yep. Okay. So this 1956 Packard Caribbean convertible is quite rare. Uh, there was one of 276 convertibles made and one of 15 in the Corsican black that you see here. Uh, this particular Packard was owned by Fred Cantor. And as we all know, Fred is a Packard icon. He certainly is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Packard Auto Products. And, I mean, uh, Cantor Auto Products. Uh, anybody with a Packard knows the, the Cantor brothers. Yeah. They're iconic, for sure. Yeah. Fred had this uh, Packard in his collection for about 40 years, which is, which is really amazing. Um, as you know, uh, this being a 1956, you know, Packard lovers would know that this is the final year for the true Packards. Why is that, Harry? Well, in, uh, after the 56 model year, um, you know, Packard had acquired Studebaker. And um, pretty much after 56, the 56 model year, all of the remaining 57 and 58 Packards were what we refer to as Packard Bakers. Uh, they were kind of a blend of, of um, really Studebaker as a foundation and a little bit of smattering of uh, Packard uh, to boot. But anyway, they definitely were not uh, true Packards. Very different cars. I love the original keychain. Very cool. That's the, or the key fob. So this Packard, also another cool feature is, uh, are the seats. Yeah. I, yeah, so the seats are reversible. Um, we'll, we'll have to do that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we haven't, I haven't shown Carrie. I, I had a 56 Caribbean convertible in my personal collection many, many years ago. And uh, my uh, now ex-wife uh, couldn't stand the colors. It was the white, black, and orange uh, colored uh, Caribbean convertible. And uh, the orange just didn't work. Oh, we recently sold that, the 55. We did, was, yeah, the white Hillary's, one. The white, white uh, pink, and, uh, and black. Uh, that, you know, I, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that one was beautiful. Really. But I have to say, I really prefer the looks of the, the 56. I do too. I think she's absolutely beautiful. So this was an older restoration by Fred, right, Harry? Um, no, I, I think or... Fred bought it uh, more or less as is, uh, which is odd because it doesn't seem like it's over 40 years old restoration. But, but according to Fred, he, he just, you know, he, he's had so many cars uh, and I think he's getting older now, but um, anyhow, he, uh, he, he suggested that, you know, it's pretty much as is. We've recommissioned it. Um, you know, the, uh, it really, you know, we went through some of the transmission and the suspension, the, the brakes and, and, uh, getting it, you know, running uh, very nice, which it does now. Um, yeah, it comes with the ultramatic transmission. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, and with the push button gear selector, which is, you know, totally cool. It's very, very Jetson. Mm -hmm. like um actually i you know being from temecula before uh real very close to me in fallbrook uh, was where dick teague retired to so he was not only the designer of this car um 
and you know many other terrific cars but uh, he was a legend uh, within uh, the Temecula Packard community which there were like three of us <laughs> but Anyway, you know, the CEO of Packard uh, demanded that all the hi historical documents be destroyed uh, for liability purposes. And Dick, uh, Dick Teague uh, was such a cool guy that, and they would search the, the people so that they, you know, couldn't steal anything. Wow. What he did is, uh, he, well, this is, you know, according to legend, uh, he would stick documents under the hood of his car where they didn't search wow. and, and leave the facility with uh, some, as many of the prized, uh, you know, possessions, you know, uh, re related probably mainly to Dick's work. So anyway, when was that? That was, that would have been in probably 58. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So very good. Well, not, yeah, nice job. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, I, I think the more this car gets used, the happier it's going to be. <laughs> this has the 374 cubic inch uh, Packard V8. Uh, a terrific engine, uh, 310 horsepower, which that's a lot of horsepower for 1956. And it uh, did, did so partly by having dual quads. So it's two four barrel carburetors. So I'll, I'll open it up a little bit here. steering is nice and smooth. Yeah, the transmission shifts uh, quite easy.